Hey there guys, I'm Mark from Mobile Geeks and next to me is Michael Fisher, who is Mr. Mobile. That's me. That's him. And um, we're here at the South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Um, it's our second day. Is it only our second day? Uh, it feels like ages, <laughs> oh, literally. It's like, uh, yeah. But it's also your first time at uh, the South by Southwest? That is correct. Okay, so we're both uh, first timers. We're both uh, newbies. Newbies, yeah. exactly. And uh, so after the second day, what's your like impression? How did you like it so far? It's weird and wild and hot and humid and all the great things. Okay. And I'm glad I'm here for a very specific reason. Yeah, it's super crazy uh, outside there. And uh, I think the reason why you're here and we t uh, said we want to do this video because today we had the opportunity uh, from Daimler driving in the new Mercedes-Benz EQ, which is the their uh, electrical concept car, so we both uh, were able to take a turn. Right, and it was your first time too? Uh, yeah, I saw the car like uh, when they introduced it in 2016, you have to like to keep this in mind, it's like already one and a half years old this car. Right, but so you saw it, but you didn't get to ride no, it No, never get to ride it, and I think it's really special that we got that opportunity today, because... Uh, I agree. It's uh, like... I mean, we, we you get all kinds of opportunities to take a look at cars yeah. on the show floor, to see them in their little cages maybe take and a seat. stuff. Right, maybe sit in them and it's great. But it is, it's a, an especially nice treat to be able to ride around in yeah. one. And this one in particular, well, a lot of the features don't come alive until it starts moving. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want to start with the lights? Oh, the lights. That's they, they were my favorites. So like, uh, yeah. I hope you, know, you have different favorites too. But uh, the lights were my favorite because uh, what happens in the Mercedes EQ is that uh, as it's an electric car, in the moment when you start moving and uh, accelerating, the light turns first blue, then it turns white, and it's like. It feels a little bit like a warp, or like Star Wars effect with, with these stars coming. A little bit, of, a little bit of hyperspace. Uh, hyperspace yeah, like hyperspace. Yeah. But to be clear, we're talking about the lights, the, the interior cabin lighting, the accent lights that go all around the doors and and the, the footwells and all this everywhere. Kind of stuff. And it, but I, I, rather than just being a cosmetic thing, I understand it's it, the intent is to give the passengers a sense and the driver a sense of the car's motion that you don't Moving get forward, from yeah. the engine noise since there isn't any. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the things I like about the car on the whole because we've seen electric cars before. I've certainly been in a ton of them. Electric cars themselves are nothing new, even though no. they've yet to penetrate them, the, you know, take over the market. We actually but like, the, like there's so many features in the concept car that are that are new and that we may see in production vehicles and that, moving and, forward. And that's the point. Like uh, another feature I like very much is the grill in front, which is like a huge yeah. LED light. And it, it, yeah. it basically told us this looks cool, but this is this is really concept. I don't think we will see that anytime soon, which is sad. Which is sad, and which I learned something today about that. So yeah, the grill is just this this blue LED array, or however they're doing it, it's really amazing. And apparently there's a legal issue with it, or there's a legal concern with it. At least in Germany, I think. It's not like the, every like, country has different regulations for right. that, right? But in and the States, it would be fine. Yeah. But in Germany, for no, some no, reason, you're not allowed fine. to have a lit, a lit radiator. No, that because it's like, it could be misinterpreted, and Germans are very strict about what you see, and uh, it has to be like, there's a regulation for everything. It's Germany, come on. Okay, uh, the, well, you know, it's, it's a crazy there. thing because yeah. I'd love to see something because I think like electric cars, we really would like gain a lot more attention if they really looked considerably different, like yes. more futuristic because then, you know, you want to, that's the reason why you like want to buy this because everybody like sees that you like believe in the environmental thing and, and everyone. Yeah, and there's no question about this. This yeah. thing looks like it came from the year 2025 yeah, exactly. and was pulled back from <laughs> time. But there's there's a couple practical things. It's not just the looks that I like. There's a couple of creature comfort things that make the car just kind of feel like something that you would that you would buy and then would make your life a little bit easier from moment to moment. Like the the touch activated doors, I'm I'm fine with to mm -hmm. get into it. But to get out of the car, oh yeah, you have to you, like you can do you can do an iPhone like slide to unlock on the capacitive panel or mm -hmm. You can just grab the pad, you grab the handle. Okay, and I didn't it, like, I only saw the sliding thing. Yeah, you don't okay. have to do the sliding thing. You mm -hmm. can just grab onto the thing and the door will pop up. You know, one very interesting fact with those kind of door handles, having them electrical uh, instead of mechanical is that like the cars are equipped with sensors. Uh, so uh, the car also, like other car manufacturers are already doing this, that if there's something in the dead uh, angle, uh, the, the door won't open. Oh, like, yes. like, like a bicycle coming through and you don't see it, you want to open the door, but the car says, no, there's a bicycle coming, you have to wait. Like, it's uh, sure. also a security. And they're like, those... Oh, and that's on the market now, right? That's on the yeah, market yeah. now. Yeah. Like, I think, I'm not sure if it will be Mercedes, but uh, if right. it's not so now, my, they're definitely going to catch up on that. It will be soon, yeah. Uh, my, my, another little thing that I liked is if when you change the, uh, the heat level in the car, when you change the airflow yeah. through the heat vents, 
the heat vents all have their own individual ring lights on them yeah. because everything in the car has its own little little light detail, yeah. and it turns from say blue to orange when the heat oh, is on. If you're, if you're making it hotter. Yeah, if you're making okay, it hotter cool. in the car, which cool. is which is really really awesome. Uh, and you don't always get a visual reference for stuff like that. And a lot of this, like I say, it's a lot of it's just little details. Um, did you want to talk about the user interface on the? On the uh, yeah, dashboard? the user interface actually is like maybe you can see that the car is actually like one and a half years old because it's you know it, it looks oh. futuristic, but um, as many of you are you are probably aware, and some of your viewers too, uh, that uh, Mercedes just uh, showed off their new MBUX system, right? Um, which which isn't like a concept anymore. Like this was a concept, and um, there is I think you see a lot of those concept ideas. Uh, actually in the MBUX system. Right, yeah, no, that's very true. And that's now in, in production, which is pretty fun. Yeah. Some of the stuff that I don't think is, is has made it to production yet that is still in the concept car is you've got this wrist wrist mounted trackpad that's not in the the new ones is oh, it oh they, they have sort of it uh, oh, it's not, it, it looks a little bit different but there's some sort of touchpad and uh, that's also a thing like uh, but i think the, the thing we have to talk about and also there was like a panel i was uh, to yesterday like it was going about humanized uh, ux uh, yeah. and that they said there is a lot of effort and mystery is also is putting a lot of effort into uh, voice recognition mm -hmm. and uh, voice user interface uh, so uh, yeah. a lot of people argue that uh, after this, the age of smartphone, the next actually will be the age of a personal assistant in a car, uh, sure. like we have it in a smartphone or on a PC or yeah. on the Apple. And uh, why not have it in the car as well, right? That's like, and that's very easy to see happening. We're already seeing yeah. not only smartphone makers, as you point out, putting different virtual assistants yeah. in, but also hardware companies making standalone little units that, yeah. that house various virtual assistants all under the same device. So yeah. car makers, of course. They, they, they will uh, yeah. invest very heavily in that. Yeah. So um, oh, we haven't yeah. talked about the seat back monitors and the back seats. Uh, they were a little bit, for me, they were too crazy. I'm not sure. Like, uh, so the seat like comes up in the back of the seat. The entire surface is a is a display. And it's it's curved a little it's bit, right? It was so curved, or at least like, it had like the impression it was curved. It's a little curved. bit of a glare issue. It's like on the side. Is this mine or yours? This oh, is yeah, yours. Oh, well, like this it's is the mine. same. Yep. Yeah, well, mine like, is broken. It's like on the <laughs> Galaxy S9, yeah. where They're you like have the, this, the curve. It spills over the side, yeah. which looks really good. But then you're trying to like read the display, and, and it's like it's not always great. But it's just wild that the entire back of the seat is a display. And in in, in the concept car, it was just showing the mapping info. I think yeah. that we had. But that was the thing that I was falling in love with up front. It's like I manipulate the trackpad oh, yeah, with the, my the wrist, super responsive. and the entire dash is showing me this yeah. high-definition map of where that I am. Cool. And it's, oh, it was just, it, it's, it's, I don't know, it, it's tough because none of this stuff is, it's very difficult for me to encapsulate what about any of this individually is yeah. like must-have, but all of it working together. That's, that's a beauty. Yeah, just, it, I, I feel like when, it, when the car is made that has 80% of this stuff as production, it is going to be a lot easier, a lot more fun. Yeah. and um, presumably safer to drive. Speaking of, do you, do we, I forgot about the mirrors. Yeah. The, the lack like, of mirrors. The lack of mirrors. The library, actually, actually cameras. I think you see that a lot in concept cars, uh, strangely. Um, there is that a, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw it several times with different manufacturers. So the uh, rear view mirrors, are, or not the rear view, but the, the side mirrors. The side mirrors being cameras. Replaced by these, yep. these bullet fairings containing aft-looking cameras. But then again, yeah. I think this is still a regulation issue. Uh, they are not bringing it. Uh, you know, the design of the whole car, that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why it looks so futuristic, because it's considerably, considerably different. Yes, so, yeah, yeah. yeah so. indeed. And then we had the usual, like when we were actually rolling, we had the usual characteristics of electric cars. It was a very powerful yeah. acceleration, yeah. <laughs> stuck to the road. It did all the stuff that we can reasonably expect to have felt in, uh, what, a 200 meter? Distance. It was like it, it was very, crazy. We were like we didn't go riding in eight <laughs> circles all the time, yeah. like uh, because the street only was like 200 meters. Yeah. Uh, but then again, you got the feeling, and I think this is something very uh, important because, like what you said, just said, you often have to get a chance to look at it from the outside, but like experiencing it from the inside and uh, yeah. getting this connection between the light. And I really hope that they bring this uh, sort of light into the production car. So they, they wouldn't comment on that. But uh, personally, I think like we have ambient light in most of the cars already. Right. So it's not that a huge step. It wouldn't be that big a leap. I just hope yeah. that it doesn't, it's not, in, if it does make it to production, that it is not so bright. That of course I think you it, could, it you, diminishes. You, you, you could you know, turn it off and on yeah. on whatever oh, yeah. your preferences. Yeah. So, User but control, I, yeah. I see me. I definitely would buy this. I like this. I, I because mm -hmm. I'm riding a lot at night and I like this. Uh, 
Oh, this thing. Is, fan, oh, you would get the the, the light package. You're yeah, saying. exactly. Oh, yeah. That's oh, the same with me. Yeah, okay, you got that's, it. That's cool. You got it, man. So and um, like to wrap this up from um, they are, they introduced the car like one and a half year ago in Paris actually, and um, they're going to show the uh, EQC. Yes. This year. Later this year. Later this year. And we should see at least some, if not, I mean, I, I'm hoping for most of the uh, the concepts of the of the car we're yep. running today in the EQC I later really, this year. And but. Uh, we were told by Wolfgang, who's like the uh, press uh, speaker of the EQ, that he said we'll the cars should like he literally said uh, the cars there will be a lot of uh, parallels. So we yeah. should see a lot of the design. Uh, elements. It was very curvy. Like it had. It was. It was there were some very nice uh, design elements. He said uh, that we could expect a lot of that. Or he said, I think what he said is that we probably see more than we expect right now from a concept car into that car. So this makes me curious. Right. It will be Most later definitely. this later this year. Yeah, and I, I hope we'll uh, get a chance to take a look at that I shortly after too. it's unveiled. Because I'm uh, stoked. Me too. Like I'm fixed. Like did you say stoked? Like fixed on it? Like I really like yeah. going to see this. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Like. You may have noticed English isn't my primary language, but I think well, you're doing okay. great. Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, so later this year, and it will be uh, you can buy it next year, so it will start shipping. It'll start uh, shipping in select markets in 2019. Is yeah, what we so heard. This not be, this concept that we were in, but no, the, the, the car the, the that EQC. will be derived from it, the EQC. Yes. So with that, uh, Michael, yeah. thank you very much. I think it was a quite nice chatting here. I, it's always nice to chat that, with you, Mark. Thank you for perfect. having me. So thanks for being here. Absolutely. Man. See you around. Um, so we have, we're going to experience a little bit more of the South by craziness, right? That's right. Okay, jump in. Wish us luck. <laughs> yeah, we do. See ya. Bye.